In this video, I'll teach you how to kill trolls. All I ask is that if you enjoy these slayer guides, do me a huge favor before we start and leave a like on the video. Your likes allow me to continue making these videos for you guys, so thanks so much for your support and enjoy the rest of the video. And just a little reminder that the video is segmented into chapters in the video player, and you can click the arrow to have all the chapters posted on the right side. So let's go over everything you need to know about trolls. First, Mountain Trolls are found at all locations, except for Fremenic Isles, which are Ice Trolls that have different stats. Against Mountain Trolls, you want to use a melee setup. And although you can save spot with ranged or magic at some locations, Mountain Trolls have very high magic and ranged defense, so it's not very efficient to use these attack styles against these. Ice Trolls, on the other hand, are the complete opposite. First, Ice Trolls are only found on Fremenic Isles north of Yatizo, requiring the Fremenic Isles quest. They have virtually no ranged or magic defense, so using ranged or magic with a Nate does not shield will make it a very fast slayer task. You could also use a melee prayer setup with a stab or crush weapon, but it's a little less efficient because of its defensive bonuses. Out of these 5 locations, my favorite is Mount Quidamortem because it's multi, you can use a cannon, and it's a very fast slayer task with a melee prayer setup. A close second is Fremenic Isles and bursting or barraging ice trolls with a Nate does not shield. It requires the Fremenic Isles quest, but with it being multi, cannonable, along with the loot being significantly better, this is also a very good location for trolls. Out of the single combat locations, I'd say Death Plateau is the best option. There are a ton of trolls in that area for your cannon or your character to tag. The safe spots are easy to use, although I don't recommend using ranged or magic against mountain trolls. Also, if you're using Runelight, here are my favorite settings which help make Slayer a lot easier. So now it's time to set up your armor. This chart is for players looking to use a melee prayer setup, and I've ranked all the armor pieces from best to least best. This chart is for players looking to use a melee defense setup, and I've ranked all the armor pieces from best to least best. This chart is for players looking to use magic, just make sure to watch out for the shield slot as it lowers the range attacks of thrower trolls from 6 to 2. This chart is for players looking to use ranged, just make sure to watch out for the shield slot as it lowers the ranged attacks of thrower trolls from 6 to 2. I suggest that you pause the video now to set up your armor before moving on to the next section. Alright, now that your armor is set up, let's go over how to get to the Death Plateau location. When you've chosen the travel method, withdraw the items into your inventory. All the items you need to bring are listed in green under each method and requirements in red. When you're all set up, you can use the timestamp at the bottom left to skip forward to the next section. The fastest way to get here is by using a combat bracelet or games necklace and running northwest through the bend while protecting from missiles from the thrower trolls. You could also use the grouping interface every 20 minutes to the Birthorp games room, or a longer option is using a taverly teleport and then running north. Here are the inventory examples for each armor setup. Pause the video now to get your inventory set up. And here's how I would set up my prayers for each attack style. Pause the video now to get your prayers set up. So here's the Death Plateau example. So starting near the Combat Bracelet Teleport, I'm running northwest along the path. Take the first path north. A chat box will pop up. Just click the path northeast on the minimap to exit out of it. And once the path starts to bend, turn on Protect from Missiles and run east. and then south. You can turn off protect from missiles when you're further south. So you can see where you can drop your cannon with the marked floor tile, just turn on your prayers, drink your stat boosting potion, have auto retaliate on, and go ahead and kill them. The safe spot is located directly south. You can attack the trolls over the stone walls and not take any hits from the trolls. Let's go over the Keldegrim location. When you've chosen the travel method, withdraw the items into your inventory. All the items you need to bring are listed in green under each method, and requirements in red. When you're all set up, you can use the timestamp at the bottom left to skip forward to the next section. The fastest way is by using the fairy ring code DKS and then running to the dungeon sign directly west. You can also use a relic of teleport and then run northeast. If those are not options, you can also just run north from Camelot. Here are the inventory examples for each armor setup. Pause the video now to get your inventory set up. And here's how I would set up my prayers for each attack style. Pause the video now to get your prayer set up. So here's the Keldegrim example. And this is a pretty simple location, just enter the cave and run south. But drink your stat boosting potions, turn on your prayers, 
and have auto retaliate on. And you can drop your cannon with a marked floor tile. But pretty simple, just watch your health, prayer points, and fill your cannon when it gets empty. Let's go over how to get to the Mount Quidamortem location. When you've chosen the travel method, withdraw the items into your inventory. All the items you need to bring are listed in green under each method and requirements in red. When you're all set up, you can use the timestamp at the bottom left to skip forward to the next section. The fastest way to get here is by using a Xerix Talisman to Xerix Honor and then running south. Another fast way is by using the Lovacane Minecart Network to quit a Mortem and then running south. In this picture, I've ranked from 1 to 5 the closest teleport to a minecart. The next best method to get here is using the Koretz Memoirs to Shazian, running west to the Mountain Guide, and traveling with him to Mount Quidamortem and then running south. You can unlock the Mountain Guide permanently just by speaking to him once on Mount Quidamortem. The other option is using the Fairy Ring Code to DJR, using the Mountain Guide located south, and then running south from Mount Quidamortem. Here are the inventory examples for each armor setup. Pause the video now to get your inventory set up. And here is how I would set up my prayers for each attack style. Pause the video now to get your prayers set up. So here is the Mount Quidamortem example. So starting from the minecart, I'm running southwest down the yellow path. Then follow the grey path southeast. But drink your stat boosting potions, turn on your prayers, and have auto retaliate on. And you can drop your cannon with the marked floor tile. If you're safe spotting with ranged or magic, you can use the mountain on the right side and the trolls won't be able to reach you. Let's go over how to get to the troll stronghold location. When you've chosen the travel method, withdraw the items into your inventory. All the items you need to bring are listed in green under each method and requirements in red. When you're all set up, you can use the timestamp at the bottom left to skip forward to the next section. The fastest way to get here is by using a troll stronghold portal in your house or with a stony basalt and then running south. Another option is using a Trollheim teleport and then running west. It's also possible to use the entrance northeast of the fairy ring code AJR. And just like the Troll Stronghold quest, you take path 1 to the ladder, use the ladder directly west for number 2, and then running south to the exit with number 3 to get to the trolls. And of course, the long route if those are not options. Combat bracelet, games necklace, or grouping teleport to Berthorp, and then running west through Tenzing's house and climbing the stile, and then running the long path through the trail with the climbing boots equipped. You'll pass that in the arena, and then running north through the cave. And if you cannot use the agility obstacles on the mountain, use protect from missiles when passing the throwing trolls to the north, and then running west to the trolls. Here are the inventory examples for each armor setup. Pause the video now to get your inventory set up. And here is how I would set up my prayers for each attack style. Pause the video now to get your prayers set up. So here is the Troll Stronghold example. I'm going to start from the top of Trollheim after using the Trollheim teleport. But here I'm just using the obstacles west to climb down, or you can click the minimap west to go to the long route. If you're taking the very long route from Berthorp, you can use the map that I showed previously to navigate yourself. Once you climb down, you can keep going west, and then you can run up north, and I marked the tile where you can drop your cannon. Just drink your stat boosting potions, turn on your prayers, and have auto retaliate on. If you're safe spotting with ranged or magic, you can see the marked floor tile to the west. I like to stand behind the stone wall where the rocks are, and you can attack over the obstacles without taking any hits from the trolls. Let's go over how to get to the Fremenic Isles location. When you've chosen the travel method, withdraw the items into your inventory. All the items you need to bring are listed in green under each method, and requirements in red. When you're all set up, you can use the timestamp at the bottom left to skip forward to the next section. The fastest way is using the Enchanted Liar straight to Yatizo if you have the Elite Diary completed. The next fastest way is using the Fremnik Sea Boots teleport and traveling with moored gunners to Yatizo and then running north. You can also get kicked off of Lunar Isle to be sent to Relica by speaking to any NPC on the island without a seal of passage and then traveling with moored gunners. You can also use an Enchanted Liar imbued and take the boat with moored gunners. You can also teleport to Waterbirth, traveling with Jarveld first, traveling with Mord Gunner second, and then running north third. And of course, a simple way, just using a Relica teleport and then running north to Mord Gunners works too. Here are the inventory examples for each armor setup. Pause the video now to get your inventory set up. And here is how I would set up my prayers for each attack style. Pause the video now to get your prayers set up. So here is the Fremenic Isles example. 
I'm starting from the boat near Moored Gunners, and I'm going to run north through the gate entrance. Also, the first building east is a bank if you want to use it. But run through the town and exit out of the north gate. So go ahead and run across the bridge and as you approach the cannon spot, drink your stat boosting potion, activate your quick prayers, turn out a retaliate on, and you can drop your cannon with a marked floor tile. But pretty simple, just watch your health, prayer points, and fill your cannon when it gets empty. Alright, and that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching, for always killing it with the likes and subscribes. This channel would not be here today without your support, so thank you again for stopping by. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.